kind of scary, you know, a lot of cars passing by, a lot of big cars. Pulling over on the highway is both nerve wracking and dangerous. Right now we're on the side of the highway. How about now? Look at these people going 100 miles per hour next to us. Sometimes it seems like your four way hazard lights are just a candle being snuffed out by drivers flying by. Before Hurricane Ian, Erickson and Jensen had 11 ships bringing in tons of shrimp. Now they only have five. We are really struggling. From rebuilding the docks. Scabbing together some of that, trying to utilize it. To fixing up these massive boats. Yeah, Peter, dozens upon dozens upon dozens of people that couldn't get into the convention center tonight, instead lining the streets of downtown Fort Myers. Seeing a scene like this, a car with a cracked windshield damaged to the front end and just feet away, a scooter laying on the pavement has him concerned. Ford rides a scooter regularly through this southeast Cape Coral neighborhood of Academy Boulevard and West Rotunda Parkway. That on Saturday night was closed off as investigators circled the scene of what looked to be a crash. It was the little things, the things that were left untouched by the power of Hurricane Ian. One of those was this, a stack of hurricane re-entry passes, and we didn't clean this up for you tonight. This is how I found them. Rhonda Moore tells me she's used to seeing trash or household items dumped on the roads in Lehigh, but this 22-foot boat surprised her. This is the biggest thing I've ever seen dumped. It's not a typical sight on this side of town. In Fort Myers Beach, you would see it in Cape Coral, where Ian did more, most of his destruction, but not here. The destroyed boat is now filled with empty bottles and twigs. Moore says it's become an eyesore in her neighborhood. It doesn't belong here. My heart dropped when I heard this. It wasn't just Fort Myers police searching for this truck. The entire family was out with eyes peeled. But who cares about the pickup? Their eyes were set on the precious cargo sitting in the back seat. You can replace the truck, right? But someone, a kid with like four years, you know, you, can, you, you can't replace that. Just here at RSW alone, you have to think Delta Airlines, United, even American Airlines have all canceled flights. Pig, 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 come on. Howard, did you manage to bring him in? I just opened the gate and I put some food in and he came right in. Families on Suncoast Drive in North Fort Myers say this guy moved into the neighborhood after Hurricane Ian. Although mostly friendly, Becca Danner told me he started doing what pigs do. Well, here at Benita Bills, you get your burger with a side of thrills. To serving all kinds of customers. Even they couldn't pull off something like this. The boat is wedged in there pretty good, but they have the area directly underneath it roped off just in case it drops. While it's here, word of the spectacle is spreading, bringing people from all over just to catch a glimpse. This is the 19th year Aaron Barletta's family got into the festive spirit. Was there ever a doubt in your mind that you weren't going to be able to set this up like this this year? Um, yes, because of the debris from the hurricane, we did not think we'd even be able to do it for the kids. Although debris was cleared up on their street, there are still safety hazards on other roads. But there is only a few things kids are worried about. A lot of candy. Um, I don't know what it is, but it kind of gets stuck in your throat and makes you cough for a while and burns your eyes a little bit. There's no better way to describe it than downright disgusting. It just yeah. smells like being in a toilet or a, se a sewer or something. It's just that bad. Piles upon piles of dead sea creatures and other organic material is rotting away here on what used to be Newton Beach Park. Now it's where the town of Fort Myers Beach is cleaning up the rest of the beach. This is how they're collecting everything? Yes, that's the equipment just for the sand. Yeah, there's a different piece of equipment for the rubbish. <laughs> These cruisers aren't out here looking for fugitives or filming a movie. Actually, they're not even from New York. They're part of the Southwest Florida 1013 Club, a group of retired NYPD officers representing the shield more than a thousand miles away. We're just paying respect and doing things for the people. Frank Caldera owns this vintage cruiser. This color was from the 70s and 80s. That's nostalgia right there. That's the old New York City Police Department cars. So what exactly does this group do? Folk art meets fine art. At first glance, you might not even realize that you're looking at art. We got the uh, golfer girls. These sculptures are fondly referred to as the people. And why not? They look about as real as their creator, Jeff Abbott, turning heads and raising eyebrows for 23 years and counting. Well, that's the auto mechanic. Oh, it's fun to take him to a parking lot at Publix or wherever and, and get him out and put him, put him there. These people have become part of Pine Island in the quiet little Boquilla Street they call home 
Abbott doesn't promote his work, but people always end up finding their way to see them. I've become friends with a lot of the people that come here. If you couldn't tell by now, Jeff is just as creative as he is comedic. This is for uh, long distance communication. Well, you got security, you gotta have security these days. That's uh, kind of a self portrait. So you got pissed on or pissed off. Where did it pop into your head to build something like this? I don't know, I just do it. You get my point, right? Each person has a story, dressed head to toe in detail.